Hello and welcome to the Essence of Knowledge meeting which is a part of the Essence of Knowledge program which is a free and online program for the seekers of the path of knowledge all questions are most welcome while you are thinking about the questions or typing the questions i want to announce that uh, we have made some changes in the website the whole path of knowledge portal has been updated so for few days the services were on or off depending on the work that was happening but uh, now it is fully functioning again and the important thing is the seekers that were in the version 2 of the program are now migrated to version 3 they can continue their program in version 3 now we are, we are still migrating people as and when the requests are coming and probably those who are in version 2 may need to contact kanika or myself if they find any issues or they may they may need to copy paste their old notes into the new program but most of you have finished step 2 so you can continue from step 3 onwards in the new version in case of any problems you can contact kanika or myself those who are inactive in the version 2 they were not migrated they will need to start from lesson 1 in the version 3 because anyway there is nothing to migrate shivani has a question since the illusion part is not there in version 3 so for those interested to know about illusion should join tantra bodhi program after completing the essence of knowledge program yes it is your wish if you are interested in the illusion and if you think that yes i am capable of dealing with the illusion i have advanced so much on the path that i am mature and intelligent enough to handle it then you can join the tantra bodhi just like i said there are some conditions to join that program however if you want uh, uh, simple knowledge of uh, illusion a model of the illusion that is available to all of you everybody in my channel youtube channel that which was removed from the version 2 is already published in uh, youtube channels the english youtube channel is uh, pure experiences and the hindi channel is bodhi varta it is a very difficult program if you qualify that in for that you can join it and you can go through the videos there are 70 videos and all of the videos very long very tedious all of them require writing in contrast to the essence of knowledge where there are only 20 videos in step 2 and you need to write a little bit there there are 70 such videos in tantra bodhi it will take more than a year when this program was launched many people joined it and half of them are still working on it they have not completed so it is an experiment if you want to do it there is no uh, rule that you will need to do the tantric practices no that is optional you can take the theory knowledge and enjoy there is no need to do any experiment there it is not compulsory so the one thing is that there are no exams but there are so many practices that it is not suitable for ordinary people especially the householders those who have a family or those who are very young shivani has another question is knowledge dissemination possible without experiential realization of self so i gave you the answer today and you must have received the answer that uh, it is impossible it should be obvious that uh, those uh, who don't have the self realization how can they teach anybody and you are asking experiential realization yes the realization is always experiential there is no um, conceptual realization it has to be your direct experience what you are if you read it somewhere if you memorized it then it is not called realization it will be called uh, textbook knowledge there is no experience behind it it is not a realization at all it is simply listening you heard it somewhere that somebody was telling that i am this and that but i don't really know i cannot see what i am i don't understand what i am so some people believe that simply listening is knowledge 
but no realizing it it should be real it should become true for you that yes truly i am the experiencer it is true for me then it is called realization how do we know if anybody has this kind of realization or not only the guru knows sometimes the guru can also get confused because it is possible to simply parrot the lessons and repeat them it is possible but with long exposure with the student a long term guru and student relationship the guru comes to know eventually <laughs> it will the ignorance cannot be hidden like this how how do we know initially through your exam the exam is like a first step in uh, estimating your knowledge so if you pass the exam yes probably you got it you have you have the re- realization and uh, the second step of uh, estimating whether you got it or not is your uh, step number 4 is your reports that you'll send me on step number 4 that are very very obvious indication of whether there is knowledge or not because sometimes it is possible to pass the exam also by very good preparation by memorizing all the answers it is easy but the real test is when you put in, in put the knowledge into practice which is your awareness practice which you learn on the step number 4 so i come to know what has happened there there are some cases where no realization happened and finally in the third step where i really come to know whether this person is not pretending is in knowledge dissemination obviously not everybody will do it but those who have knowledge they have a inner desire to spread the knowledge to spread the light it is almost natural let us say if you get a bag of chocolates and there are many kids in your house what is your inner desire to keep one or two chocolates for you and give away the rest to the kids this is human nature isn't it to distribute to disseminate to benefit others because nothing is going from my side knowledge is not like money or any other thing it can be given so when i see that the person is able to make others realize what they are they are able to transmit the knowledge then it becomes almost 100% that uh, yes he knows he or she then they are let loose they are sent in the field so i wrote there that uh, you can practice you can practice teaching self realization at least the basic knowledge what is basic knowledge and the, these three kinds of knowledge self illusion and oneness without going into too much detail and too much uh, logic nitty gritty nuts and bolts don't go inside it too much basic knowledge if you can impart it first of all you will also come to know what is my status is there any ignorance left or not i also come to know and the person who is getting also comes to know that he, he knows nothing he is simply repeating the program although it is possible that they will get self realization because uh, repeating also is kind of pointing but as soon as the seekers those who are the students your students let us say you are a teacher now they start asking questions and you are not able to answer them from your own experience at least after some time one year two year then you will realize that no i don't have any knowledge so knowledge dissemination benefits those most who are doing it that is why it is a part of your program you will benefit a lot if you start giving there are lots of benefits actually i have written somewhere and i have told it somewhere in the step number 7 videos there are brand new videos on the step in the step number 7 like somebody was asking what is different step number 7 is fully explained and the best uh, advantage is you get connected to the guru field the guru field video is very important in step number 7 i have explained the guru field in detail there you will get connected to the guru field then you don't have to do anything in your life probably for a seeker that is the highest kind of achievement isn't it that the guru field has accepted you as their own member gold membership platinum membership so that is the biggest advantage but you need, you get to test 
your knowledge. So I wrote in Shivani's report that pick somebody in your family or a friend, anybody or a youngster like you said, but not children. The children don't understand anything I've seen. It needs to be a very bright birth child to understand these things. So anybody about 16 or 18 years of age, they have uh, developed intellect. They can question, they can understand something. Pick them and do the experiment on them. Teach them the 3D program. If you want, I'll send you the text version of the 3D program or you can go to the portal and read it there, download it, go through it, the text version. Or you can listen to the recording of the 3D programs. There are many. On my channel also there is a recording. Or you can go to the 3D application program where people apply, there, there you can see the video also. So prepare yourself how these three kinds of knowledge is given. Pick somebody, tell them, try to teach them. Today I'm going to teach. You can copy me or you can copy other teachers who are doing this kind of 3D program, which is called Trignosis program nowadays. Trignosis, same thing. You can copy the same style initially if you don't know how to start. And the text version has all the guidelines, all the help is there, how to do it. And also record everything that you teach. At least the first session you should record it, first person that you are teaching. And send me the recording. I am not going to listen to whole of it, but I listen, let us say, 10%, 20% of it to find out what is happening, whether you can go forward or not. So you can do this practice if you want. Teach somebody, send me the recording. If everything is fine, you will be given this job of conducting the Triagnosis program and we'll see what happens. You will also come to know what is happening. Are there any blind spots in your knowledge? Are you not able to explain anything? Are you not able to answer any questions? All these things you will come to know. So I always recommend that you do this with people you know personally. Sit with them if possible and try to explain it. There are other ways to start the knowledge dissemination which I have already told in the videos of step number 7. And the easiest is to write. So far you have written the notes and all. Now close them down. Don't look at them. Pick a topic, interesting topic about which you are very confident that I know everything about this topic. For example, the means of knowledge, direct experience and logic. Let us say, example, I know everything about this, this topic, why there are no other means of knowledge, what are inferior means and superior means. Uh, you make a list of main points and then you write the content there. Publish it. There is a service on our portal which is called Wise Words. You can publish your uh, articles, books, essays, poems, songs, whatever you want. Publish it. Hardly anybody reads it, but uh, it is for you only, for seekers, for the participants of the program. So writing will reveal many things about your condition, whether you are ready to teach anybody or not. The writing shows it very clearly. Many people are doing it. Now uh, and the question comes time, do you have the time or do you really want to do it or do you have interest, do you take uh, pleasure in doing these things, it makes you happy, only then you should do it, otherwise not. Because it is very difficult job and you will get nothing in return except happiness, except the pleasure of doing it. And if you don't get that also, then there is no need to do it. I want Guru Field. I want this. I want... That means you are struggling. That means you're, it is not making you happy. If there are demands and wants behind, the reason behind it is this, then you should not do it. And if I see it like this, then I stop that person from doing it. Obviously, once you leave the program, I do not do any... Cannot do anything. I cannot stop you from doing anything. But then I stop recommending people to that person who is not following the instructions. Obviously, they can do whatever they want. But it 
guarantees failure because you are not enjoying it. Time means, yes, you will need to spend at least one day per week, two or three days per month like this. You cannot do it all the time. There are some people who have nothing to do, so they do it all the time. And I'm one of them. But nowadays I'm not doing it all the time because, <laughs> because the enjoyment becomes less and less as you do it, as you continue in it. And then you focus on the important part. So that's what I'm doing right now, these days. I, I focus on the important things. I don't, don't do it madly. I do only that which gives me pleasure, happiness, nothing else. So start somewhere. My best wishes are with you. And I'm all, always there. Like uh, you will be uh, removed from this group, Essence of Knowledge. Those who have completed the program or failed, they will be removed from the group. But I'm always present on Telegram or email. So if you need any help in knowledge dissemination, I'll help you initially, at least initially. But I don't guarantee that I'll help you all the time. And that is mostly not possible. So if you are confident that yes, I want to do it and I can do it independently without asking every day for help, then you should do it. Initially, you will need help and there are people in our group, there are pass outs of the program, they will help you. So go ahead. It is not necessary to start it immediately also. Probably you will get the inspiration like Shivani got the inspiration right now. But um, some of you will get the inspiration later on your, in your life and uh, it is happening. I am seeing it that some people contact me after one year or two years of finishing the program and they say, I want to tell it to somebody. I need your permission. Yes, it happens sometimes. So if it happens that uh, later on you want to spread the light, then also it's perfectly okay. It is not that you are in step 7 and immediately you need to start it. No, it is not like, there is no rule like this. So take your time. Thank you everybody for attending today's satsang. I'll see you next time.